Watertown, Connecticut. Traffic car number 41, the Messiah Valley Transportation, Sage Family, JRC Transportation, Wikers Livestock, Durst Incorporated Entry. Here's David Gravel. David Gravel in car number 41. Lap one for Gravel is quick time. 13, 0, 0, 5, 1, 3, 0, 0, 5. 120.969 miles per hour for the average speed. Second place here on Wednesday, third last night, second lap time at a 13.005. Identical lap times for the 41 of David Gravel, 13.005, both times around the speedway. Even in pre race, you mentioned you guys have thrown three different setups at this car, three different combinations of things. Where's this one rate compared to the other two? Uh, yesterday in the heat race, we were really, really good. We were pretty good there, uh, a little loose on the bottom, but I think. Uh, there's a lot more grip up uh, top tonight. There was a cushion last night, but I think it's a lot uh, meatier up there. So uh, we'll just keep tuning on it. And uh, you know, this dash is uh, tough with 12 cars total in the dash. So I uh, hope we get a decent draw and uh, have a good night tonight. Season. And Brian, Johnny. we're just talking there. You guys just said have been good early in the night, but you need to find that speed when the track slows down. How do you go about finding speed when this place starts to get slick? Yeah, steal that 15's notebook. That's probably the best bet. So. Uh, no, we, uh, my guys, Chad Morgan, Nate Steinhaus, my dad Robert, are re relentless. Uh, this is a different car than last night. They wanted to put a little bit different car together, a little bit different configuration, and it's so far so good. So uh, just thank all of our partners, Casey's General Store, FEP, Impact Signs, Onings, and Wraps, JD Welding's here, uh, our Garrett Engines with our Maxim chassis running real good. Um, like I said, this is a... Uh, such an awesome event. You know, I keep saying that every single time I get interviewed. It's just so awesome to see such great fans. And there's a lot of races, not many events, and uh, you guys are at one. Donnie, this track seems so much different than the last couple nights. It seems like you guys have to enter so much slower. How much different do you guys have to drive it from the seat? Uh, I don't know, Blake. Uh, you said it looks slower. It feels faster to me. It's um, really going around there. It's uh, changing each night, so it's keeping us guessing anyway. Is it like a curveball every night as to what you're going to get? I think dirt racing in general does the curveball, and uh, that's what makes it fun. So uh, hats off to this whole these, these guys on this team. They're making the right changes, and uh, just keep keep plugging away. Donnie Shot in five years, your team has gone from a team where a lot of people didn't think they'd make it through the whole year with the Outlaws, and now the 1S is considered a dark horse to win the Kings Royal, and you guys have been so fast all week. What does that mean to you? Uh, it just uh, shows how hard your team's worked in the last five years. You know, uh, we've had different people work for this race team, and. Uh, different people help out along the way. Most of them are still here, and it's uh, just a little team that could, and it's uh, built into a big team. You know, we're thankful for all the help we've gotten over the years. You know, the big ones like Dryden Performance Products now, and uh, it all starts with the boss man. We're, you know, we, we got him back tonight, Bobby Allen, and uh, I just got that feeling like uh, all the all is right in the world again. You know, it's, it's nice when you can have him here with us, and uh, our race car is really good right now, so I'm looking forward to tonight. Four wins this season with the Outlaws, and Johnny, he's been knocking on the door, getting back into victory lane here at Eldora Speedway. Last Walk us through the thought presses of what you have to do as a driver to get back to the top spot there when a driver throws a slide job on you here at Eldora Speedway. Yeah, I was surprised. He, got a, he must have got a really good run off of four. Um, I thought I had a pretty good start. I opened up my front stretch a little bit and probably lost a little bit of time getting into one. And um, once he you know, was sliding me, I knew he, you know, he was going to clear me um, pretty well, so I turned off of it, backpedaled through the slick a little bit, and got back to that moisture. And... Was able to beat him down into turn three. The starts here at Eldora are so huge with the dirty air and um, the way these race cars react with these wings on them. But uh, my crew chief, Joe Gertie, is doing a really good job. He always puts a really good car underneath me, so it makes it easy to make those good decisions and get back to the front. Carson, you had to come through the last chance showdown last night, a 16th place run. Seems like you guys are kind of nearing that target in and inching closer to where you need to be. Uh, yeah, definitely. We kind of started off um, a bit slow, but, uh, you know, three nights here, we're, we got kind of worked it out last night and I think after talking to me and Tyler uh, we got it going pretty good so uh, right now the track's beautiful it's right up to the top fast so uh, hopefully we'll see what we can do in the dash. Out of the car and climbing up top the night before the Kings Royal winner Johnny Shots. David was lurking behind you, and that 41 team's been fast. Could you feel him lurking behind you? Does that kind of ramp things up and get you antsy a little bit at all? My dad always taught me to worry about what was in front of me, and that's not what behind me. And um, I guess it's, it's paid off to uh, this long in my career, so I'm not going to change what I do. David's been really good lately. They've been very consistent, and uh, 
it's like I said earlier in the year, sometimes you got to crawl before you can walk and you got to walk before you can run and consistency, you know, it eventually pays off and, uh, and you just start building on it. So, uh, you know, them guys are running good. Uh, I feel like we're running good, but uh, hey, it, it's anybody's, uh, it's anybody's race. Tomorrow night's going to be a whole different deal. There's no points on the line. There's, uh, it's all about $175,000. So um, we'll see if we can't uh, do, do our better, best job of the week tomorrow night. Four races here at Eldora with the Outlaws. Average finish, 1.25. Congrats. Thank you. Donnie Schatz, tonight's main event winner. Sixth Outlaw win of the season.